Hi everybody, Pam Premiani. I'm coming to you from a very snowy day in Southern New Jersey. Um, it's very crummy, cold, snowy. Uh, my son works in the supermarket, so he had to go to work regardless, but uh, eh, it's kind of cozy. I got some food cooking in the crock pot, it smells delicious. So, I'm gonna to try to warm up today by showing you my very warm <laughs> Raquel Welch flirt alert in fiery copper. Maybe fiery copper will help me feel warmer. I'm gonna give you the color number of this. So fiery copper RL3129. Now you will notice, I'll show you the cap. This is a left side mono part. I don't like a left mono part. So you see what I did. <laughs> I went ahead. I parted it as far right as I possibly could. And then I sort of let the front swoop on the right hand side. Um, no one's really going to see the top of my head to see that, but all right, I'll let you know what it looks like all natural. All right, there we go. If I kept it as a left part, this is what it would look like. I probably don't have the part very straight there. And also don't go by the look of my lace because my lace is stained from having glue on it one too many times. It normally does not look that yellow. I need to wash it and get the glue residue out of it. But when you're far away, you don't really see that. So it has some interesting highlights here. It's got some dark low lights there. Many different colors in here. Look at that. There's some, well, what I would guess I might call dark brown there. And then there's some light reddish gold. There is some auburn. It's a little bit of everything. There is a little wave on the ends. You'll notice one side is a little wavier than the other. And then it has this long swoop here. Um, I did not steam this out of my face. Um, I did not spray it out of my face. This is pretty good. It stays out of your face without you really having to do anything to it, which was nice. I'm gonna put my comb down now. So I'm gonna give you a little spin so you can see the back back up. I've actually had this wig for a couple of years. And as you see now, granted, I don't wear this wig every day. I have a lot of wigs. I'm always mixing it up. But for its age, it still looks pretty good. The only thing I have ever done to it besides wash it occasionally. And, and I think I haven't even done that very often. Maybe I've washed it twice <laughs> since I've had it. All right, don't judge me. Anyway, uh, it still feels nice. I do occasionally spray it with John Renault Fiber Love. I love this stuff. Um, I have never tried their shampoos or their conditioners or anything like that. The only thing of John Renault that I have tried is the Peace Out Cream, which I don't really need for this wig, and this Fiber Love. So every time I take off a wig, I'll spray the nape because that's where it gets the crunchiest, right? I'll spray the nape of the neck uh, from the inside. And once in a while, I'll kind of do the whole head in the Fiber Love just to keep it moving because these heat friendly synthetic fibers, they try saying that five times fast. So they can get kind of rat nesty. Oh, speaking of rat nesty, let me just mention this wig, in my opinion, is very low density. I'm trying to see if I feel any permatease. There's maybe, maybe a little bit of permatease right here, but none here. Yeah, none here. There's a little bit here and then none here. So just a, a little area here, but it you really have to work hard to find it, right? 
You have to, it's not like you touch it. Ooh, permatease. No, you really have to. And you can't see it at all. I mean, all right, I challenge you to find it here. <laughs> yeah, because I don't see it, but you can feel it a little bit. It's, you know, under there. But for the most part, it's very low density other than this little bit of permatease. Um, it's not that easy to find a wig with zero permatease, but uh, it is very, very light on your head. I don't know what it weighs, but it's pretty light, pretty cool. I actually wear this one in the summer a lot um, because it's, you know, not too long. It's off my, uh, my shoulders and it's pretty light. It feels pretty light and uh, very comfortable. It's big head friendly. I'll show you where the ear tabs come. I have a big head, so they're still not really where they should be, but they're close. I have a 23 inch circumference. I don't remember what I am ear to ear. I'm on the short side, ear to ear. Um, so that's, that's where they hit me for me. So um, if you are large ear to ear and large circumference, then obviously your ear tabs are gonna be even higher up, but um, it's an this is an average cap, and uh, it's held up pretty well over the years, the two years that I've had it. This is still a current style. You can still get it. I don't know how much different the new ones are, but I can't imagine they're much different than this because they look pretty much the same in the picture. So I'll give you one more spin. And I will catch you again next time.